The Endocrine Center at MD Anderson has two missions. First and foremost, we want to provide collaborative specialized care for patients with endocrine tumors. Second is that we are also here to support our other oncology colleagues at MD Anderson. For breast cancer patients or brain tumor patients that develop endocrine problems from their treatment of their cancer, we're here to provide that support. At MD Anderson, we care for over 100,000 patient visits. Each one has to be cared for on an individual level. The patient experience is very important to us. To cure cancer, we need uh, benefits of expertise across many different specialties. We see patients with thyroid cancer, parathyroid tumors, pituitary tumors and cancer, and adrenal tumors. We're one of the nation's few comprehensive programs dedicated to endocrine tumor care. Genetic expertise in endocrine is a rare thing, simply because these endocrine disorders uh, are not as common. We have created a multiple endocrine neoplasia clinic. It's a multidisciplinary clinic. Uh, it brings in endocrinologists and surgeons and medical oncologists. Uh, we bring in our social workers and our very important genetic counselors to help with all of the, the different needs that these families have. At Anderson, we have uh, dedicated clinicians that are interested in adrenal disease, uh, disease that is relatively rare um, with all kinds of adrenal tumors. We have a monthly adrenal multidisciplinary conference where we go through all new patients that come with an adrenal disease to Anderson. What's unique about the pediatric endocrine care at MD Anderson Cancer Center is that we have two board-certified MedPeds endocrinologists who are double-boarded in both adult and pediatric endocrinology. And so the two of us are quite experienced in the management of various endocrine neoplasms that occur at all age groups. But that experience on the adult side in particular makes us uniquely prepared to take care of the patient and family who comes in at a young age with that similar process. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Even though it was like, it was a really scary experience, Everyone had such a positive attitude and they were all smiling. They try to make it as painless as possible. There are a number of investigators who work on a wide variety of issues related to uh, basic and translational research here at MD Anderson. My laboratory is interested in looking at targeted therapies that may have an effect on both papillary thyroid cancers as well as anaplastic thyroid cancers. We have been looking at uh, agents that are available from industry and other biopharmaceutical companies and we take those agents and we study them in our cell lines as well as in our animal models of thyroid cancer. Over the past decade, we've made huge advances in management of late-stage thyroid cancer. We've mostly done this through studying these patients on rigorous clinical trials. We um, actually now have a total of three approved drugs, two for medullary thyroid cancer, which is a rare form of thyroid cancer, and one for differentiated thyroid cancer. We see all types of endocrine tumors, not just thyroid cancer. We have clinical trials for pheochromocytoma patients. We have trials for patients with pituitary tumors, with adrenal cortical carcinomas. And so we have a very nice, broad portfolio of different clinical trials for patients with endocrine malignancies. The surgeons at the Endocrine Center are represented by both the Department of Head and Neck Surgery and the Department of Surgical Endocrinology. These surgeons ha really have a vast amount of experience in really the broad array of surgery, including benign as well as malignant disease. The head and neck surgeons operate only on the cervical area, operating on patients that have diseases of the thyroid and parathyroid glands. The general endocrine surgeons treat those diseases, but also treat diseases of the visceral cavity meaning pancreatic, adrenal, and the like. And the surgeons are extensively trained. All of them have fellowship training and many even advanced fellowship training. It really takes a while. It takes a vast experience in order to be really qualified to do this surgery. If we're thinking about finding the right cardiologist or the right endocrinologist or the right surgeon, in these instances where you really need the expertise, you need to go to a center that really lives what we're talking about here. The educational program that we have at MD Anderson through our endocrine neoplasia department has been long-standing with Baylor College of Medicine. And in 2012, we established the first of its kind one-year training program called the Oncologic Endocrinology Fellowship Program. 
There's no other program like it in the country. At our institution, they get a very intense, wide exposure to these patients, and they feel like they get a very robust experience. One of the things that I like best about MD Anderson is the range of specialists that they have here to deal with every possible problem you could have. Not only do we have the surgeon and the endocrinologist and the support staff co-located in one facility, but in addition, we want to continue to push the envelope and look for cutting edge treatments and technologies that can help our patients live longer with better quality of life.